the biggest hurdles for the industry going forward are, are going to continue to be some of the things that we see today. It's that ability of people to, to change the way they think about things. So as the technologies advance, people's ability to adopt those technologies, internalize those, and restructure their business processes will always be a hurdle a, as we move forward. The industry is very traditional in its practices and has yet to really start to innovate or adopt technologies like other industries. And we, we see this in all the statistics. We see that uh, construction underspends in its R&D. Uh, it's not organized like other industries where there are individuals within firms that are really focused on bringing technology in and understanding what the ROI to that technology is. The hurdle really is to solve for user adoption by uh, being consistent in rollouts, by focusing on user training, uh, by implementing the value of any new technology at the right points for a project, by making sure it's easy to use and it actually is supportive of the workflow. Getting the right workforce, a lot of uh, skill challenges, getting skilled workers has been a challenge. And uh, even though you have like project managers, project engineers, builders, craftsmen, there's always a shortage of labor in this particular industry. The building and construction world is essentially a project-driven business model. And that, that is a particular challenge to young startup companies. And the shortage of venture capital to enable them to get through that those early challenges is one of the main hurdles to adoption of technology. Some of the uh, challenges we see ahead of us in the industry are uh, investing more in R&D. Another challenge our industry has is moving more from a uh, command and control uh, uh, leadership structure to a collaborative leadership structure.